development. We're going to develop this transition piece. First of all, we look at the question. As you can see in the question, this is a very difficult question to develop. So therefore, we're going to use a method called triangulation to solve it. Now, to begin the process. First of all, we begin by drawing an XY line. Now we draw our piece in elevation. Now we project down our lines from elevation to plan and also across to the end view. Now we can draw in our plan. We will draw a 45 degree construction line which will help rotate our points in plan up to end view. We take all points from the we take all points from the plan and rotate them up to the end view. This will help create the widths. This is used. We use the widths from plan are rotated up to help construct the end elevation like so. We now bring across our construction line. This will help towards the development of the transition piece. We now divide up the circle in plan into 12 equal parts. This is very important when developing a transition piece using triangulation. The purple line in elevation helps create the true heights from plan by rotating our sectional points from plan up to elevation as shown by the purple line which is rotated from plan and is brought vertically up to the elevation till it meets the purple height line in the elevation. We join this point back to the edge in elevation and this creates our first true height. We do the same again with another point in plan and again we locate another true height in, in the elevation. We do this process again to find and locate another true height in the elevation and finally we do it once more to create the last true height we need to develop the transition piece. We label corners A, B and C. This will aid in the development process. We also label 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is very important that you note 1, 4, 2 and 3 in the sequence they occur because in plan line 4 is rotated and actually gives us a longer distance in elevation this is very important <coughs> now we can take 120 millimeter line and divide it into which is 60 here and 60 here as in plan or in elevation our overall distance between A and D is 120. This point here is located by stepping off our radius which is located from the purple line from both ends. Now we can do the same again to locate another edge which would be A and B in the development. And this distance here is our true length here, which is 70. Now we can step off to locate another apex point, which is important in the solving of this problem. Now we can step off another distance. Note this distance between B and C will be divided like before with A and D. 
so instead of this line being 120 in fact it is only 60 millimeters so we can join these points back up and create the edge view which would be this perpendicular height here now like above this construction line we can do the same below it like so locating the same points now we can begin by developing our circle in plan in this view over here note this circle will be very similar to our unrolling of tissue or toilet roll A blue arc here is the same distance as our blue line up here in plan. Now we need to find the distance between two of these green sectional cuts and step it off from our apex here. This will locate this point where the blue line comes in contact with a circle and plan like so now we do the same thing again we get the yellow line and swing another point which will create another point in the development and likewise again with the purple line this will create three points in plan on the development and again another point which of this will be our four points which will be one two three and four in plan and brought over to the development over here we can then do the same process over again again beginning with the blue line which is got from this true height here and swung from this point here this time and again the same distance within these two green sectional lines or this arc to locate our point same process again like before and now we can join up these points now as done previous these points here will be all similar to these points here so therefore we can just mirror across these points like so now finally the true development of the transition piece